This week on The Muse, Paris recognizes Hispanic Heritage Month and all of the outstanding residents with Hispanic culture. What you can do to get involved on this milestone month. Plus, have you checked out our Let's Take a Hike series? Karina Espinoza has all the information on how you can get involved in the great outdoors. And it's definitely hot outside, and we have some great tips on how you can conserve energy. It's all ahead on the Weekly Muse, and it starts right now. Hello, City of Paris. I'm Stephen Hale from the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, and welcome to the Muse. The month of September kicks off Hispanic Heritage Month across the nation. This month is incredibly important to the culture of our amazing city of Paris. The 2020 census data took a population count of 79,835 residents, according to census.gov. And of that number, the Census Bureau found that more than 80% of Paris residents are of Hispanic origin. Each year, Americans observe National Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th to October 15th by celebrating the histories, cultures, and contributions of American citizens whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. The observation started in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under President Lyndon B. Johnson and was expanded by President Ronald Reagan in 1988 to cover a 30-day period starting on September 15th and ending on October 15th. And it was enacted into law on August 17th, 1988. The day of September 15th is significant because it is the anniversary of independence for Latin American countries Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. In addition, Mexico and Chile celebrate their independence days on September 16th and September 18th, respectively. Also, Columbus Day, or Dia de la Raza, which is October 12th, falls within this 30-day period. We celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month to recognize the achievements and contributions of Hispanic American champions who have inspired others to achieve success. City of Paris will recognize Hispanic Heritage Month across our social media platforms, so be on the lookout for how you can get involved with the amazing culture of our Hispanic population. And the City of Paris will be kicking off our new Let's Take a Hike series where you can get some great exercise and connect with Mother Nature. For more on these hikes and how you can get involved, here's Karina Espinoza. Thanks, Stephen. We're at KBM Park, the location of the next Take a Hike series on September 10th at 8 a.m. These hikes benefit the community by showing them new trails and providing them with the opportunity to try it in a safe environment. Our Take a Hike series takes place monthly and our upcoming dates are Saturday, September 10th and Saturday, November 19th. We recommend residents to bring comfortable clothing and shoes appropriate for a hike, a water bottle and sunscreen. Follow the City of Paris on social media to keep up to date with Take a Hike events. For Paris TV, Karina Espinoza. Thanks, Karina. Save the date for this year's Rail Safety Week, September 19th through the 25th, and know that together we can stop track tragedies. Since 2017, Rail Safety Week has saved lives by educating and empowering the public to make safe decisions around trains and tracks, and raising awareness for the need for rail safety education. This annual week-long event is a collaborative effort among Operation Lifesaver Inc., state Operation Lifesaver Saver programs, and rail safety partners across the U.S., Canada, and Mexico, making it a true North American effort. Rail safety is incredibly important, especially here in Paris where we have train tracks. Today's trains are quieter than ever, and any approaching train is always closer and moving faster than you think. Remember to cross train tracks only at des designated pedestrian or roadway crossings and obey all warning signs and signals posted. Stay alert out there around railroad tracks and refrain from texting, using your headphones, or having other distractions that would prevent you from hearing an approaching train. And always remember, never mix rails and recreation. For more information on Operation Lifesaver and Rail Safety Week, visit oli.org. And now for a look at your five-day forecast, here's Karina Espinoza with the weather. Thanks, Stephen. As summer draws to a close, we can expect the temperature to drop significantly with highs dropping down to the high 80s this weekend. The wind will shift and blow mostly out of the east and west. Hurricane K off the west coast of Mexico will bring some rain to Southern California, 
on Friday night and Saturday morning. So make sure and keep an eye out for flash flood warnings that may be issued in your area. Stay safe, Paris. Back to you, Stephen. Thanks, Karina. We'll definitely take some of that rain though. All right, wrapping up today, just a couple items before we go. As Karina just mentioned, still a little bit hot outside and we may be experiencing some flex alerts. To prepare for the flex alert, you can take these steps before 4 p.m. Pre-cool your homes or lower your air conditioning thermostats. Charge your electric vehicles, mobile devices, and laptops in advance, and run your dishwashers, washing machines, and other major appliances. To save energy, set your thermostat to 78 degrees when you're home and to 85 degrees or off when you're away. Try cooking with a grill outside or a microwave to, give, to keep your home cooler and give your air conditioner a rest when you can and cool your home with open windows and fans whenever you get the chance. Let's all do our part to conserve energy where we can. And for more energy saving tips, visit sce.com. And a couple of great events for you this weekend. Let's end summer with the splash. Join us at Mercado Park for the end of summer splash and our final installment of Movies in the Park on Friday, September 9th at 6 p.m. Don't forget to bring your blankets, lawn chairs, and snacks for a special showing of Spider-Man No Way Home. All movies for this summer series begin at dusk. For more information, contact the Community Services Department at 951-943-6603. And it's time to get out into the great outdoors and get in touch with Mother Nature. The City of Paris continues our Let's Take a Hike series with our next hike this Saturday at Cabian Park on September 10th, located at 28001 Cabian Park here in Paris. Those participating in any Take a Hike event will be entered into a raffle prize drawing with prizes such as AirPods, JBL speakers, and a Camel Hydration backpack that will be raffled off. Check-in for this hike will be at 8 a.m. and the hike will begin at 8.30 a.m. Make sure you check in early for a chance at a free promotional item. For questions, please contact us at 951-435-7206. And a friendly reminder to please wear the appropriate shoes for this three mile advanced hike. And that'll do it for your weekly muse. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at City of Paris. And subscribe to the Paris TV YouTube channel for around the clock continued coverage wherever you are from your tablet or smartphone device. From the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, I'm Stephen Hale, and that's the Muse.